All right, in our first tutorial, we talked about the basic interface and how to save programs. So now that you've saved your program, how do you get to it if you were to come back later? Well, you open up the EV3 program again, and this time instead of creating a new project, go to File and open a project. You'll then need to just navigate to the folder that you saved it in. And if you're lucky, it takes you right to it. If not, you have to navigate to your documents and find your folder that you created. Then find your project and just click on the open button and it will open up your project for you. So as you can see, there's the project I saved with the move rotations program inside. I'm gonna go ahead and close that content editor again. It opens that up every time, kind of a pain. So here's our start block and you can see I can drag blocks around on here. And down below you have several palettes of different types of tools. We're gonna start out by taking a look at the green tools these, if you hover over it, is called Action Tools. And you can see here's a picture of your medium motor, your large motor, and you have a couple different blocks for operating both motors, kind of like you did when you're doing in-brick programming. We're going to use the one called the Tank Block, and to use it, we just click on it and drag it up here, and you notice it kind of turns gray around there, and it'll snap right into place. Okay? Each block, depending on which one you grab from down here, is going to have different parts to it. Right here, it'll have different modes as to how it operates. And if I click on that, it'll give me those options. I have turning it off, turning it on, and three different types of options on for seconds, degrees, or rotations. Uh, the default is to open up with on for rotations. Okay. Then over here, you have what are called parameters. And if I hover over them, it tells me what each one does. I have the left motor power, the right motor power, and then the number of rotations that it's going to run. And then here I have how it finishes. Does it stop with a brake or does it stop with a coast? And notice how you can change that by just clicking down on the parameter. Here you can just type in a number. If I wanted it to go three rotations, I just type a three. Over here I have a couple options. I can use the slider up and down to choose the power, or I can just type a number in there and it will accept it. The last thing you have on this block is up in the top what ports you have your motors connected to. So like we said before, the default is B and C. So if you always plug your main drive motors into B and C, then you'll never have to change this. If for some reason you build your robot differently and you have to change it, this is easy to change. I could say, well, actually I plugged it into D and B. And you could switch it that way and then it'll work. It just needs to match your left motor and your right motor plugged into the right ports. All right, so that's your basic overview of how you can build programs with these beginning blocks. Your challenge today is going to be to use a few of those.